it's so like frustrating just sitting here uh, writing emails, answering emails, uh, doing all that kind of boring shit to get. But when you do that, you can have so much fun afterwards with all these things that we de develop now. And afterwards, then it's we are going to have a Skype meeting with a guy that's going to help us with everything. A corporate guy, so we can have our focus for developing and inventing and marketing and all the fun stuff that we love and not not like right now using the half day on writing emails because we got uh, like 150 to 100 emails every day about everything so everyone has to be answered and it takes a lot of time that we should use on other th things but no i'm fin finally finished there and the kids are almost finished at school and kindergarten, so we can now focus for the good thing. Uh, playing with the kids, flying the drone, be a bit childish. And of course, make dinner. All the daughter was so cute yesterday when she uh, when Maria picked her up after the kindergarten. Uh, Edward, Edward, Mama told me that we're never going to eat animals again. The cute little animals is going to stay alive. So she is into not eating animals anymore. And I hope we will stay through the whole month so and see how, how our body is afterwards. And the food is so good as well and it's so simple, easy and cheaper than eating animals, meat, red meat computer it's time to say goodbye for tomorrow's hello and happy day today we are now at training again because we was yeah a lot of do this morning. Maria did vlog, I did drive the kids, we did discuss something we are going to do today. So we have a lot of work that's going to be done today. We have the charity project, we have the app, it's starting today. We have a meeting about the water with a corporate guy. And we have some pretty smooth business with a big grocery chain here today that we're going to we can tell you a little more about it later today. But first we had to train to get uh, our unconsciousness out of the body. So Unconsciousness? Yes. The energy. The bad, energy. Or bad energy. The bad energy and the restless legs out of the system. The system. So <laughs> see you. <laughs> nice one. Yes, that's a good one. Yeah. Ready? Yes. Two more. Two more. Two more. <laughs> How do you feel good after finishing this? Now I feel okay. kind of crappy. I'm struggling know. today. Yeah, I think I'm, um, or we are a little bit tired and unfocused. So we just need to try to find something positive, but it's a lot of positive things happening, but I don't think we appreciate it at this moment. So we need to. We need to think about what matters. I had a good phone call now, so... Huh? The phone call I had now was very good, so... Yeah. We need to focus on the positive things. Come on, let's go! Yes. Let's work. As I told you this morning, that I will focus on the kids when they are finished. Every day now, so you can do your main work because now the days are so divided and uh, I don't think we are using the time correctly so let's try to restructure because I think that you are better than me to do the job required at this moment so I will be the family wife and I'm the work, working husband. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think people really 
know how much you work because they just see see us as the couple that has all these things and don't need to do a shit but that's not the truth at all even though we look like in media maybe sometimes we look like we have have it all and uh, don't really give a fuck about others and just living the life but that's not the truth we are just we are not like everybody else I don't say that but we we are trying to develop things because for us it's important to create and to make growth not only for ourselves but uh, for the society that's why I am vlogging about hard subjects also because I don't want to just make like uh, I just want change that's it so positive change sometimes you need to make a mess that's necessary for the growth of something new it's my thoughts maybe I'm wrong maybe I'm right we will see what the future brings and I'm so excited uh, now starting to work with the app and the charity 100% when I come home because we are getting in a new guy on it also that's going to help us with the things we don't can Don't sit on my phone. What I am trying to do now? Yes, is it a new project? A new project to make some money fast. <laughs> <laughs> you are funny. So now my new plan is to fix properties and sell them so Edward can follow his dreams again. <laughs> I did have a great meeting with the corporate guy, so... Yeah, I know. You think we had a really good chance to realize it, so... Which it's one? <laughs> the... App? Oh, the no, water. We the haven't water. started with the app yet. Okay. I thought we were going to... We just need to talk. Yes. In a couple of days we can tell a little bit more, right? Yes, but I think we're starting with the app tomorrow, actually. You're talking about starting every day. Yes, but now we are. But we need to get the man in charge here, so I'm going to invite him for dinner. <laughs> That's my plan. Yes. Mm. Uh, well, can you tell me a bit about the most interesting person you ever met? Who is that? Whoa. Why are you asking me this kind of questions? <laughs> interesting. I think it has to be you. I think you. <laughs> actually because uh, you are so slow but still so intelligent <laughs> so the first time I met you I thought you were <laughs> like a surfer guy you know you just live and don't give a fuck about anything <laughs> like, real selfish and want to experience all the good things so you have the tattoos, let the good times rule. <laughs> it is says it all. <laughs> You're laughing. Oh god, I, I thought you I'm were a bit embarrassed. Yeah, I thought you were like a strange creature. But um, I'm still a bit strange. Yeah, you're strange. People think you're strange, but I know you so I know that you have so much creativity inside you and you are so smart so you really surprised me in a way a strange way <laughs> but you still are fucked up so <laughs> and also very kind and loving and thoughtful and patty takes really good care of me and the family i try thank you mm, so you are like uh the north pole and the south pole <laughs> <laughs> at the same palace. <laughs> yeah, you can never like get to know you properly or think what's going to happen the next day because suddenly you have 
thousand new ideas. Was that a long answer? No, I think it's a little good answer. Mm. So you ask oh, yourself the same? Yes, but I think you. That's like uh, he's stealing always my lines. No, because you you <laughs> were so different, but it was so strong and so like I got so curious about you because you had something there. 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 Yeah, there. 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 <laughs> there and everywhere. So I just had to get to know you. Mm. And when I got to know you, you were so kind, full, great, passionate, strong. You are like everything in one body. So. The whole crazy package? Yes. At once. You are like. Uh, high and low at the same, at the same time, you never know <laughs> what the next day will give yeah. you, bring you. Just as you know, we haven't talked about this before. <laughs> never. <laughs> yeah. Okay. And he told me yesterday I was uh, stepping on people and were really selfish. So he has really been practicing <laughs> these lines. No. <laughs> I'm just no. kidding. <laughs> we are fighting like all other couples. <laughs> I think uh, it's uh, these four days have been horrible. Yes, so we uh, need to appreciate life more. We had to smile again. <sighs> yeah, think use about, the pens. <laughs> think about all the good things we are experiences and starting mm. and growing. Look at the kids. Mm. How big they are getting. What's the most spontaneous thing you've done lately? Lately. Yes. Like this year? Oh. Uh, becoming a vegetarian. vegetarian. Yeah, yes. that's very spontaneous. But that's yeah. not like... After so looking on a yeah, documentary. documentary and the next day we just go grocery shopping. Yeah, but we are like that. We see something and suddenly we live by it. We are kind of <laughs> Okay, <spontaneous>. let's try that. <laughs> Every day, so it's quite interesting. Mm. And scaring at the same time. Not so scary. Exciting though. Yeah, exciting and we like to try new things. We have different things to see what works and yeah, if it if it can bring us somewhere, I think. To follow up that one, what is the thing that has influenced you the most? When? From? From anything. I think uh, becoming a boss uh, for a lot of employees made me a better person because I, I always felt like everybody could achieve the same things and I was so fast and dominative and strong and independent and I thought that people were the same way, all the people. I didn't have any any belief that people were different actually like stupid the whole thing it's many years ago but uh, when i understood that people needed different feedbacks i was just you know angry and disappointed when they couldn't like do the same thing as myself and i didn't understand why <laughs> so yeah i yelled at them and i didn't treat them well i think and uh, i grew a lot on that experience so I changed my whole behavior and yeah, I'm very glad that I took my NLP education that has have uh, has made me a better person in any aspect of my life. So I always been kind in a way, but I've been very selfish at the same time. So the boss thing and the NLP is the best is the best to change and to understand and to respect mm. differences and you maybe three persons that's in three different stages in life that did influence me a lot yeah the first is my first boss that took me into the back room and said if you don't start the uh, doing your job properly, I will fire you. Mm. Mm. That's on behalf of what? On behalf of what? That I was 
like lazy and shy. Shy was my biggest problem. Mm. That I was so shy that I, that I stood in a clothing store and didn't believe in myself and didn't what like I wouldn't say hi to a person or anything <laughs> before Good the, sales. <laughs> before because it was so scary. So he got me the one like last opportunity to say yes, yes, let's do it. And you had uh, Christopher that uh, when I was starting pretty smooth, you just, okay, let's do it. Believe in yourself and follow your dreams. Then the last day I did it. And the last person again is you. I just broke you down in pieces and <laughs> build me up again. <laughs> you just ruined everything. <laughs> just... You, you just ripped all apart and built a new person no no you didn't but yeah i've learned so many things the last two and a half year about anything about family life taking care of other response responsibility disagreements disagreement <laughs> fighting agreements <laughs> cooperation oh it's so many like the family life i'm so and we are very addicted to each other. Mm. That's kind of embarrassing in a way. Yeah, like to win one. That's like... Yeah, we are like uh, twins in a way. <laughs> yes. And gets, we are married. Yeah, and get stressed out if we are yeah. apart. We are going to take the last one now. If you want to travel someplace, anywhere in the world, where would it be and why? Hmm. I think it needs to be Australia. Why? Because... I didn't see that one coming. No, because I love animals and wildlife. You know that. And I also think that it's a whole different environment than what I've ever seen. So I'm so interested in new cultures and new things to see to experience people and animals and nature. I would say I would go to Fiji or New Zealand and, uh, or a little island. Yeah, New just... Zealand is outside Australia, right? Mm. Also Fiji, but uh, some warm island where you just have the locals. Why would you go there? To see culture? Yeah, see the culture Stripes. and the food and the you know that they the nature. You know are cannibals. No. <laughs> yeah. Shit. Uh, I you think it's uh, Tasmania or Tanzania, those. Tasmania? Yeah, I think it's Tasmania that's right outside New Zealand somewhere. So maybe they will swim in and eat you. No. They're I, actually cannibals there. I can sleep with a <laughs> fork, so if they try, I can just. <laughs> kill them? Kill them with a fork. I think they are much and more adaptive to killing than you <laughs> <laughs> with their faces just to go ah! Edward would just uh, die of fear I would just run take a helicopter back to Australia, Australia. <laughs> Maria Maria where are you <laughs> going to drive the kids tomorrow morning so. yes I have the guy with the, the insurance. lights insurance yeah. guy so okay guys Let's see you later see you tomorrow